Welcome Soul Family. Today we are doing the relationship reading for the lead couple for Till the End of the Moon, the famous uh, Chinese drama which is just, which just ended I think a week or so back. Really interesting and um, I love the series even though it's a tragedy for whoever wants to see it. I've been watching the BTS as an after effect of the drama and I wanted to look at this couple to see what is the relationship between them. If you have requests, please do put in. I will get to them as I can. I also take paid requests. You can look at the description for details. So let's get into the relationship. Please, Spirit, please show us the relationship between Lu Yongzi and Bai Lu. You know, the lover's card has ever actually come between two between couples so clearly. I may have to check my previous videos to know where that's happened. But we have a lover's card between both of them. Here we have Bailu with the Five of Swords. And here we have the Knight of Swords. Very interesting. I mean, this I think shows your personalities to some extent. So we have uh, Leo as... The Knight of Swords, I think he rushes into things before thinking them. He is, he reacts, he does before he thinks it out. He's also protective, the Knight of, you know, uh, ready to save her, ready to, you know, take her away from any kind of trouble. He's very protective about her. And here we have her. She's, see, this person is someone, usually this is the bully card, you know, like that somebody has bullied you. So maybe she was under some bullying, bullying earlier and maybe he is protecting her in some way or he did help her out in some way or he knew, knew about it and you know he kind of came in to help her out. Between them they have a strong love relationship. Now even though I have a lover's card for me it's really uh, I need to see more supporting cards to see whether it's really romantic love. Because, uh, you know, um, if you see the lover's card, it actually has three people. It has the angel and it has two. And here you have the man looking at the woman and the woman is looking at the angel. So what happens is, this is a soulmate connection. But that necessarily doesn't mean it's going to turn out as, or, you know, it's, going to, it's enough to sustain a relationship. So when they met each other, they definitely get along. I mean, they get along well, so well that they almost like soulmates. But when we look at the obstacle, we have the moon. So I think there can be misunderstandings between them. Uh, or they both are moody. I think he's Cancerian. His Cancerian mood will be difficult for her to handle. She gets irritated maybe by that. The obstacles between them is their own... Uh, negative self-talk their own um, you know their confidence maybe they sometimes he might not feel confident or maybe sometimes she might not feel confident and they create there definitely a communication gap yes so there are things uh, playing around there are illusions which they fall in they both are very moody and uh, that could be an obstacle to the relationship and if I see the outcome I have a seven of cups so I think there are a lot of other people who will interfere in this relationship. There are many other people who are coming for him as well as her. And that might not show, you know, that this is going to end up in anything. So I feel, yes, there's definitely a lot of potential for love. And there is a lot of intense feeling definitely between both of them. Okay, there's this intense. Well, let's look at the feelings. Let's get the clarity on that. So what does... Leo Lu, Lu, Yongzi, what does he feel towards by Lu? What does she feel towards her? Okay, 
this relationship is complicated. It's not an easy thing. All right. What else does she feel towards him? Okay. There is a strong attraction between them. I mean, it's not just emotional. It's also very physical in terms, you know, from both the sides. There's a very strong attraction. And um, their relationship, even though they were friends and they worked before, it's not been easy for him. Maybe it's not e been easy for him to resist it. It's not been easy for him to maintain it. It has been turbulent. Okay. And uh, or either, this also could be that, you know, uh, she's the one who calms him down because this is going from turbulent water to calmer waters. So there is a sense of defeat which he had in his life. Okay. Earlier. And for some reason, she brings that you know she's kind of the, she calms him down she brings peace and she also definitely brings in uh more opportunities like from the time he's met her or has been when, when he works with her you know it goes well they both work well and definitely the project takes off that is what i feel i also feel yes there is strong physical uh attraction between them she feels he's like the magician, you know. I think she really thinks he's... She has so much of admiration for him. Maybe it is not just his looks, it's his ability to act. She thinks he has it all. He is the perfect actor in terms of he has all the skills to be a perfect actor. So she really admires that about him. And she also admires the fact that, you know, he gets things done. For some reason, he's able to bring in... He's creative... And he's able to bring in things together to, you know, uh, make things happen. But we also have the tower in her feelings. So uh, there could be, you know, disappointment. Maybe she really liked him. Maybe he liked her. But I don't think they maybe have expressed to each other as the fact that they like each other. Or maybe he was in some other relationship. And she realized, you know, that maybe he's in something some other relationship already and she didn't know about it and then she came to know about it and you know it could have really uh, kind of changed the whole relationship over there and kind of been a tower moment for her but with the ace of pentacles again in her terms of her feelings as i said we have strong attraction there's also a stability in their relationship in terms of they stabilize each other they're able to stabilize but i just definitely see there are a lot of other people who are involved between them, who bring that space, who don't allow them to come together. And, you know, um, with the moon card, as I said, it's full of misunderstandings. So, you know, I don't think there's trust. I don't think they've ever told each other, actually, that they like each other. They have been friends and um, they only, I feel they've kept it a friendship. Even though actually they really are a soulmate connection. Either she's seeing somebody else or he was seeing somebody else. There's definitely somebody else in between. And that is why we have outcome as a seven of cups. So, okay. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. And if you all did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.